Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Uh, welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I will explain one of the list implementation is vector. So, vector is uh, global array, which is similar to the array list, but the difference is vector is thread safe. Whatever the elements you are adding or whatever the objects you are adding to the actor is a thread safe. That means only one thread at a time can access or modify or update the list objects. Let us go ahead and start our Eclipse and I will explain with an example. Okay, Let us go ahead create a new class vector demo I would like to have a main method in this click finish now I am going to write the class here so vector vector equal to new vector so this is in the java.util package so you need to import package so First, I will explain by adding the string object to the vector. Later, I will explain how to work with the user-defined objects. So, I am adding string objects to this vector dot add vector vector 1. like that I am going to add a few more objects string objects two three four so now I added four string object to the vector now I will iterate through this um, vector and I will display whatever the element uh, string elements we added to the vector so in order to I trade through this uh, vector you need to create a enumeration from the vector enumeration equal to vector dot elements now you can iterate through the enumeration dot has next elements and uh, system dot out dot print ln enumeration dot um, <coughs> next element that's all so uh, uh, this is very simple program I added four string object to the vector I created an enumeration and now I am iterating through the enumeration and displaying the whatever the string object we added to the vector now run the Java program we will see output vector 1, vector 2, vector 3, vector 4. So, in this scenario, also it will maintain the insertion order. It is global array. How many elements you are going to add in back end automatically the vector size is going to be increased. And next one is it is a thread save. When you are working with the multi threading environment, and if you want to restrict only one thread at a time to access our vector or the list then we are going to use this vector so this is the uh, basic implementation but in real time scenarios we don't uh, really use this type of string object adding to the uh, vector so we always use the user defined objects so in order to demonstrate that I already created in my previous session employee class so in this employee class I have two member variables employee and employee name I have created a one constructor to initialize these two variables also I created um, generate uh, generated the setter and getters mother for these two properties after that I create I created one more method to display employee ID and employee name so this is a very simple class 
now i am going to add the i am going to create an object using this class and i will add this object to the vector then we are going to iterate using our uh, enumeration to display this employee objects so let us go ahead and start first we need to create an employee objects so employee objects emp1 equal to new employee i already created a constructor so i need to assign some values i need to initialize values while creating an object so i am creating four employee objects employee 2 employee 3 and employee 4 so i am giving employee id 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 so i have cre uh, i created four employee object now i am going to add this employee object to the vector now vector dot add you can give employee 1 and uh, similarly we are going to add four objects okay then two three and then four now i am going to i uh, create an enumeration to traverse through this vector vector dot elements and uh, while enumeration dot has more elements then you need to down cast because we added the employee object so emp equal to enumeration dot next element so by default enumeration uh, <coughs> next element method returns object uh, hence we need to down cast this one to employee class object okay now already i created an uh, display method in the employee to display those value so i am going to call employee dot display okay so now let us go ahead and run this program and see the output see here we added the four employee object now it is display hope uh, this concept is clear but in real scenarios uh, while adding element uh, by adding these employee objects to the vector mostly it might be in the database layer where you are going to get uh, employee details or some object details from the database using the select query and then for each row you are going to create a one employee or the corresponding object and that object you are going to add it to the vector and finally that vector you are going to pass to the either a business layer or the ui layer where the people of uh, the people use that array uh, use that vector and they will display to the ui hope uh, this concept is clear if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video thanks for watching have a nice day